So that's the furthest I've come down into this little bit. Oh boy, I'm glad I did. That's gorgeous. Oop. See you there, buddy. Ain't no reason to cry like that. I think he was probably looking at the mountains, too. That's pretty, too. Look at those houses over there. So still. Cedars and stuff come right down to the water. <laughs> now I could go down to Tahuya and Belfair, but I don't really want to go down that way today. We'll save that for the next trip. The Wado River Campground. It's kind of neat. You know, I just hit 100 subscribers today, uh, the day that I'm filming this. Um, I was stuck in the 70s and 80s for the longest time. Uh, after just kind of trickling upwards for a while <clears throat> and then you know in one of my previous videos I, I spoke about uh, YouTube and and the dual and the dual sport riding community uh, and how I, I like the old school kind of internet where you'd have little pockets of, of communities around a topic you know it could be a video game or uh, an area of interest and you'd have forums and you know people got to know each other and uh, you know a few a few weeks later uh, doc 650 starts commenting on my videos uh, and you know saying the same kind of thing you know hey it is a community and you know really like your channel uh, and suddenly uh, he, he recommended it to a bunch of the folks that are kind of in his little uh, riding riding group or interest group or community however you want to say it there's there's all kinds of little pockets of, of these little smaller communities and uh, suddenly, boom, 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 uh, way more, co way more comments and co um, conversations, and uh, between him and myself and, and some others, uh, Obi Wan for one, uh, who's somebody that I've watched for a while, especially his uh, his uh, mod videos for his DR. Uh, started commenting and, and uh, back and forth and just it's it's been a tremendous tremendously uplifting experience um, just sharing that kind of camaraderie with with other folks that you know mo I think most of most of these guys are all riding uh, DR 650s as well uh, it's been really really great uh, the past I'd say week or so uh, I've had a lot of fun just shooting the shit back and forth on on YouTube comments and uh, you know just my my uh, riding group right now we we've met around uh, the dork and the dork in the road YouTube channel a couple of years back and we've kind of split off into uh, a couple of discord communities and uh, 
we ride together and, and talk a lot in Discord and a couple of our a couple of our little circle of friends has uh, done a lot of like really longer rides out to like the Black Hills and uh, from all over the country and uh, I didn't get to go to that one but uh, you know we're always talking and a few of them have YouTube videos or YouTube channels themselves and uh, it's just another little kind of micro community around the interest of dual sports and uh, you know suddenly being in touch with a, yet another little community um, it's it's been great it's really been what I what I wanted to get out of having a YouTube channel it's just the that sense of community um, you know where you have you have folks kind of lifting each other up and uh, encouraging each other and um, having a discussion around the video topics and um, you know it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be big I'm not looking to grow my channel like super big I, I just I really just like to share some of my thoughts and uh, even if it's just for myself um, it, almost like a uh, well, like a vlog, really. I mean, that's why they call it a motor, moto vlog. It's like a, a video diary. Um, but to share your thoughts and, and experiences and, and the areas you ride with other people who are, are of like-minded like interest, um, just with riding, uh, you know, extending your... your uh, your circle of, of uh, knowledge into other people's uh, experience and, and you know their, their mindset on things and their opinions on things and you know everybody's different um, everybody can have different opinions about things and, and speak differently and, you know just uh, You know, you don't have to be offended because somebody's different from you or speaks differently than you or has a different opinion than you uh, about things. And if you're not if you're if you're not exposing your mind to other people, uh, your other people's ways of thinking and uh, other people's opinions on things, you're not going to grow. And you know, in this in this environment today, where it, it just feels like people are looking for reasons to be mad because then they can show how mad they are on the internet and it'll go viral how mad you are and how somebody needs to be taken down a notch or or, or just written off the face of the earth um, it, it's really a shame and I really you know I don't agree with everybody I, there's some people some people have views that I don't agree with, but I don't have to be mad at them. You know, they're not they're not looking to kill my family and my dog and, um, you know, take my livelihood. Uh, you know, it, it's like, it's just like, you, you can't grow as a society without difference of opinion. Um, I don't know how the hell I got on that topic. Anyway, my point is, uh, people have discussions, and it can be civil, and it can be uplifting, and you can disagree with somebody and still be friends with somebody. There, I don't agree with everybody in my, my riding group um, about things, and we have civil discourse about it. Sometimes it gets a little heated, but you don't come away mad. Um, and then you go out riding and you have a beer or, or have a piece of pie or hamburger or whatever um, after a day of riding and, and and you realize how how undifferent you really are you know it's really what I wanted from making a channel that's what it comes down to it um, bringing people together to talk about things you know not that I want to bring them together but more just, you know, if you find me and you and you find something interesting that I say and you want to share your opinion, uh, you want to share some advice, 
Um, you want my opinion or my advice? Hell yeah! You know, come and leave a leave a comment. Um, let's let's start a conversation. Um, check out the other channels that comment are on 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 my my videos. And get out there and and watch other people's videos. You know, watch their watch these guys' channels. Um, who do we got? Doc 650. And and forgive me, I don't know if it's if you say Doc or Doc 650, but he's really what kicked off my my recent uh, influx of con conversation and comments. And uh, dude, I, I appreciate your videos. I, I really I really enjoy your videos, and and I appreciate what you've done to to kind of. Um, stoke the the fire around the the comments and, and bringing me into the the fold as it were um, Obi-Wan uh, again I've, I've watched your channel a lot I, I don't know that I've ever commented but um, I really value your your take on things and uh, appreciate all the the conversation that we've had uh, look at that look at those clouds down there oh my A verbal widget also you know you've been one that a channel that I've watched a, a time or two I think I was already subscribed to you and uh, just amazing photography skills and, and editing skills and writing skills uh, another one geez I'm just listing off a bunch of YouTube channels and I, I apologize um, Another one, um, listen up, not down. Holy cow, what a, what an uplifting channel! Uh, check him out. He he recently did a, a a trip to Death Valley, which is a trip on my bucket list, and just beautiful. And and I just love his style of uh, of just stopping and having a chat with the camera. Um, just a great attitude, man. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, another one, all that you should check out is uh, Frank from from my little group. Uh, his channel is One Old Man Riding, and also just great content. He just, you know, gets out there and rides his CRF and his other bikes, and uh, just has fun. You know, all these guys are, you know, we all laugh at ourselves and uh, nothing's taken too seriously. Look at that dog. Pretty, pretty dog. Nothing's taken too seriously. Um, I think we're all kind of old farts in one way or another and just out having fun on our dual sports and having fun with friends and family and. Anyway, that's my ramble about community, uh, about the dual sport community, um, both the one I've been in and uh, the one that has recently found me. So this is Anderson Creek and this little road is kind of neat. <laughs> There's a boat sitting right there. I would just leave our boat here. <laughs> Jesus boat full of fucking trash Jesus I don't know what the dock is there but that's that's gorgeous too holy I hope I'm getting that on the camera Here's another shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oof. Just, what a beautiful day. Look at those clouds down low. Anybody 
right behind me. I don't want to be pissing people off. Good golly. Good golly. Some days I don't know what I'm saying. What a nice day. I'm glad I got out. And now we're just, uh, we'll head on back. So with that, uh, with all that rambling, uh, I will, uh, I'll let y'all go. I gotta put my balaclava back on cause whoo, it's cold. That air is cold on the chin. So anyway guys, I, uh, I thank y'all for watching. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'm not gonna tell you to like or subscribe. I think you know how YouTube works already, so You know get get out there and ride don't don't let the weather stop you uh, obviously Ride if you don't ride if it's not safe conditions, but You never know how a day is gonna turn out uh, Don't let a forecast stop you. I guess is a better way to put it um, Get out there and ride and enjoy yourselves and, and stay safe and uh, I'll catch you on the next video or in the comments. Let's have a conversation. I'll talk to y'all later.